people are actually quite kinky. When I tuck my teapot, hear me shout, tip me over and pull me out. But they like to pretend that they're not, and they're like, oh my God, sex, who has sex? Behind Britain's famously prim front doors, 10,000 webcam girls are hard at work. Tough times, and with average earnings of £800 a week, there's a gold rush on webcamming. Oh, my God. What weight's that? That's bigger than mine. I'm not having this. Beg. Good boy. And again, louder. Good boy. Now shut up. We meet mums. The whole point of this is that you're a giant. I can fit, like, cars like this in my mouth. Girlfriends. How's that, Walter? <laughs> Rub it all together. Any pink? I've just put red on, for God's sake. Daughters. My dad, he's, I'd say, your typical dad. No, no one's dad wants their daughter doing this. And even a Catholic virgin. Bye, honey. I'll speak to you soon. Bye, sweetie. Bye. I like to see myself almost as a kind of webcam housewife. They're all online now and ready to take requests. Ooh, private time with the balloonies. Whoop, whoop. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ah. <laughs> Webcamers work whenever and wherever they want, but it can bring complications. In a Liverpool suburb, 30-year-old Charlie shares a house with her boyfriend. Mark, I'm doing a booking now. I always tell him when I'm doing a booking, because I don't want him to sort of just walk past, put the guy off, is it? You know? <laughs> for most ladies, leg shaving is a chore. But for Alex, it's a money spinner. Online now is a businessman in his 40s. Mr. Shaving wants to see me do my pins this morning. He just likes, you know, seeing the razor go up my legs. So what I do is I roll my pyjama bottoms up. <laughs> what do you want me to do today? You want me to shave for you? Yeah, can you shave them for me? Mm -hmm. Just like you did last time. OK, baby. I'm going to put this towel down. The shaving gel all built up on the razor. I just put it in the sink. I've got a clean blade now. <laughs> da -da -da. <laughs> Where are you at work just now? Yeah, I'm at work, yeah. Sexy. Yeah, it's very boring. Is it? I need, to, I need to light my day sitting at my wardrobe waiting for a big meeting to happen. I hope no one walks in. <laughs> You've seen me shaving my hairy leg. It's a very nice three-blade sharp one, especially for the ladies. <laughs> I think you might have uh, enjoyed himself. <laughs> he usually says goodbye. <laughs> so he booked a ten-minute show, but basically, what did that last? About three minutes, I'd say. So I got a tenner for three minutes' work, so not bad. I was just in my house in my jammer shaving my legs, so why not? Mr Shaving's stamina has shot Charlie's earnings up to £180 per hour. In Luton, 27-year-old Sam has no boyfriend to worry about. She lives alone with her cat. What her neighbours don't know is that this cat lady makes her living by dominating sissies. Men who love being treated badly. Ah, oh, someone's popped in. Oh, and it's a sissy. What's this? Hello. Dressing my cock up in ribbons, heels and girly hairbands. Interesting. I think you should send me a picture. I've not seen that before. Oh, some sparkly, fluffy shit. That's nice. A balloon or a dog, a dog toy? Are you my little puppy? Beg. 
Good boy. Good boy. And again, louder. Good boy. Now shut up. Bloody hell. What the fuck is that? Why do you put a bag over your head? You're very acrobatic, aren't you? You're all over the bloody place. <laughs> oh dear, no one wants to look at you. Lick it all up. All of it. What point in your life do you do you realise? Hmm, if I tie hairbands around my dick, I'm gonna come. They spent 25 quid prancing around like a pansy. <laughs> to get my kit off. What turns Sam on is the money. She's a psychology graduate who now makes the UK minimum wage with just six minutes of back chat. I lost my job and panicked. I was temping in a, in a magistrate's court, which was, you know, better than doing nothing, but the money was shit. I knew about um, this particular site because um, a friend of mine had told me about it. I was like, right, fine, give it a go. And um, as it turned out, it went very well. <laughs> it was a good decision, and I haven't been back since. In Essex, 28 year old mother of one Alex is visiting her son's favourite shop. But what she has planned for these toys would make him weep. The whole point of this is that you're a giant, like you're bigger. You they're a tiny little person, so to like crush them is like the ultimate thing, isn't it? Because you like you've got the power to crush them. I can fit like cars like this in my mouth. I'd start off really like ha having your body as like a little racetrack. So obviously, go up your legs and pop it down your boobs. Incredibly, playing with dinky cars makes Alex a thousand pounds a week. The money's great now, but there's not a lot of long-term security for a five-foot-four giantess. I have got clear goals for the future because by the time my son goes to school, I want to be in a normal job, normal, <laughs> you know, in a, in like a proper job, I suppose, something with um, like career prospects. I don't want to pick him up from school and someone else's dad have, like, called me. I don't want to put him in any situations that's not fair to him. So I'll just be a soccer mum <laughs> after that. In the seaside town of Worthing, there's a new peep show starring Penny, who's just 21. <laughs> I need one more token and then I'll do it. <laughs> this client wants a nursery rhyme. It's you're the one that's not going to get to see it. I'm a little teapot, short and spout. Here is my hand. Oh no, this is here is my hand. Oh, here is my spout. When I don't know the rest of the song. When I top my teapot, hear me shout. Tip me over and pull me out. Round of applause for you, Scott. Round of applause. At the moment, I probably make about three, four grand a month. But I feel like I'm lazy. I feel like I'm never working. Um, I have a very easy life. I get up, I do what I want. So there's a lot of money out there to be made. I think the girls that make the best money have to be business-minded. The girls I've seen do really well on this. They're one of the cleverest people I've ever met. Like, they might not be like, common sense clever, but, but like, business-minded. Their heads are so switched on. There's so much money out there to be made in this. Penny's clients come from all around the world, and one thing they all love is a saucy video. In the trade, it's called sploshing. I open everything up because, you know, there's nothing worse than me having to stop to cut the custard open or take a lid off the sauce. Just need to press play. Um, so I won't really talk much in this. Um, because the guys like the sound of the custard, like the splashing.
has been webcamming for four years. She began from her childhood bedroom in her parents' home when she was just 17. My family, do you know what? They've been really, really good. My mum, she, she's brilliant. She's pretty much, if you've got it, flaunt it. Um, so she's lovely. She's, she's awesome about it. She's very supportive. My dad, he's, I'd say, your typical dad. No, no one's dad wants their daughter doing this. But I've had a few people say, like, how do you sleep at night, knowing that guys do their thing to you? And my response was, I love my job. <laughs> Her ambition now is to build a webcamming empire, and she's already bought the flash car and is saving for a house deposit. The quiet town of Norwich. Home to 23-year-old Carly, a busy mum with a career in insurance, as well as titillating men with fake plaster casts. Like this? Like that. Perfect. You put your foot up. Look back over your shoulder at me. I've worked with James uh, for about five years now. He's a very good friend of mine now. And we do plaster cast work together, which basically just involves like normal day, everyday scenarios and um, like a little, I suppose a little bit of acting as well, but with uh, usually a lot of accidents and broken bones. <laughs> How many times have I broken my leg now? Oh, more than I care to count. <laughs> sure, yeah, you're one of the most accident prone people I've ever met. In my normal office shop job, they're like, um, I do that two days a week, and they laugh at me and tease me, like, in a fun, friendly kind of way about it. I mean, I'm the plaster cast girl. There's definitely a market for it. I've got regular customers in America, Japan, um, Germany who. Just bend your foot up a little bit for me. If um, he come back time and time again. James is the entrepreneur behind the Casted Cuties website. It's the perfect business match for them both. I plan my shoots around when when I'm like when what's best for Alana really. I want to be at home to kiss her goodnight every night because that's like the most important thing to me as her mum. I'm getting paid more than um, your average normal job and it's all about my family and all about providing for my daughter which is, is obviously the most important thing to me. Um, so yeah it does, it makes me feel um, like a really strong kind of woman. <laughs> so far Carl is stuck to stills but there's a whole world of video and webcamming out there and she could earn twice as much. I'm thinking about doing some webcam work. I'm looking at some videos at the moment. Face licking and fantasy wrestling. Flexibility, well, that's definitely, definitely wouldn't suit me. Food and object crush. Hairy armpits. Girls with like iPods and headphones. Bubble gum. Silly faces. <laughs> Midgets. No, I don't think I'm small enough. Public farting. I don't even know what that is. I feel, I feel really naive with it. I don't, even, I don't even know what half of this stuff is. It's making me blush a little bit. Business partner James is keen, but there's yet another man in her life. God. I'm a spiritualist. It's a Christian spiritualist church, and I go every Saturday or Sunday. You know, you can still be spiritual, uh, no matter what path you take. While Carly thinks the web coming over, single cat lady Sam is working on a new film, which will be a departure from her sissy scaring ways. I live on my own, you know, I don't get a lot of people coming around, so, you know, who cares? But, you know, if I'm going on camera, I don't want them to think I'm a complete and utter tramp, so... <laughs> I will have a slight tidy up, maybe leave a glass and a plate or something. Um... I usually sit on the sofa to do it, um, but because my camera is a widescreen lens, you can see more of what's going on, so I've got to make sure there's nothing, I don't know, weird or boring or disgusting in the background. Like, the cat usually tries to get in shot and I've just elbow her out of the way. That's pre-production sorted then. With no one to help, Sam must direct, star in, and buy all the props for her film. We are going to the shop. I need to get some baked beans because um, I'm going to do some little videos of me covering myself in them, really, chucking beans at myself. 
I'm going to put these clips on my web page that um, where I webcam from um, because selling little clips of things like just little one two minute clips is quite um, quite a good little earner. Beans are quite good because they're quite um, visual. Easier to do something like this like, and pre-record it and upload it rather than try and do it on webcam. Um, I think anyway, just because you can sort of prepare <laughs> and then tidy up after. Sploshing, getting filthy with food, is the most popular genre of webcam films. It's freezing, I should have warmed up a bit. Oh my god, that's freezing. Oh, that feels absolutely disgusting. Disgusting, cold, nasty old baked beans. Oh, look at that. Oh my god, that was freezing. Oh, look, what a mess. <sighs> oh dear, well I hope you enjoyed that. I have to say that was, uh, was quite fun in a messy, disgusting kind of way. <laughs> I've got to get all the beans out of the bath now, otherwise they're going to get stuck in the plug hole and the uh, drainage around here is shit anyway. <laughs> It's just horrible. It stinks. With her splashing film in the can, Sam could rake it in. The best-selling films gross over a grand. Not bad for the price of a multi-pack. In Liverpool, 30-year-old seasoned webcammer Charlie also cashes in on splashing, but she lets her clients do the messy work. This is spaghetti, so this was one of my requests. He likes to put the custard down his crack. That spaghetti and those beanies go everywhere, don't they? <laughs> cream pie. Obviously, you're gonna have that on the face, aren't you? Where else do you put a cream pie? Always his favourite, the little pots of jelly. So he always has about two or three pots of jelly. I actually do think, God, I bet that's a nightmare to get that spaghetti and beans out of the drain. Charlie used to be a retail manager of a chain of card shops, but a year ago, she gave it all up. I was actually running 11 stores. I was trained to be an area manager. So you could say that this is um, quite a different career move now. But it was my choice. Now, I always like that to point out to people. Like, it was my choice to jump from that to this, and I enjoy this a lot more. 24-year-old Essex girl Danielle is not a typical webcammer. She's a self-proclaimed Catholic virgin on a mission. It's a service I provide, and that's helping someone, and obviously our faith believes to help people, and that's exactly what I feel I'm doing. She uses her God-given assets to date footballers and lives in a mansion with her pet chihuahua, Coco Chanel. I do have quite expensive taste, actually. Um, I'm a right sucker for uh, Louboutins. I've got a Hubert watch, Submarina Rolex, a Hermes bracelet, the Tiffany necklace, a Cartier bracelet, my Birkin handbag, some Chanel pearl beads as well. <laughs> my family have just always made sure that I've always achieved the best in life, so um, I'm a straight A student. I went to private school and I went to finishing school as well. With such exquisite credentials, Danielle aims to give men the pastoral support they need. I like to see myself almost as a kind of webcam housewife. What's your plans for tonight? Jealous. That's my favourite type of food is French food. Okay, talk when you're back from Greece. Bring me back something nice and sparkly. A big rock. Bye, honey. I'll speak to you soon. Bye, sweetie. Bye. Ten minute conversation. No, it was more than that. It was about 15 minutes. I probably about 50 quid.
Most I've ever made was um, 800 in a night. Danielle's virginity means she can charge up to twice the normal rate. Some people would be surprised about the fact that I have decided to wait until marriage for the right person. In terms of the virginity side of things, I think that's a major kind of golden nugget in certain senses. Um, because it's just, yeah, I know it's practically unheard of. And, um, but I don't like to brag too much about it. It could be a selling point to divulge the details of my faith to webcam clients, but I just kind of, I don't use it as a kind of conversation starter. So my services on webcam are pretty simple. It's purely what you see is what you get. There's nothing sexual about it. As the money rolls in, Danielle can continue to enjoy the finer things in life with a clear conscience. I feel what I do in terms of webcamming is certainly not a contradiction to my faith in any aspect. I'm not misleading anyone. They know exactly what they're gaining from me, as I do with them. Oh. Hi! I know, I've got my riding hat. Do you want to see Toby? How cute is he? Isn't he lovely? Do you see him? Have you been missing me then? Oh, that's very nice. Well, I'm glad that you got to see me in my riding gear. <laughs> oh, okay, hold on. Uh, this is my like, little top, and then I'm wearing, you know, how the leggings. <laughs> I know, I know. Someone's in the wrong job. Who is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no problem then. I can't wait to hear from you, honey. I'll speak to you soon, okay? You too. <laughs> no, I'll be careful. <laughs> Lots of love, honey. Bye, bye. Thank God for faithful clients. Danielle just made another 40 quid. To them, they might think I am their kind of surrogate own girlfriend almost, but it's just purely business. There's nothing more to it than that. The minute that phone comes on or the webcam comes on, it's a different mindset I'm in. And it's business, and that's it. And yeah, obviously, it's got to do with the money. But I in no way see them as a boyfriend or anything like that. It doesn't even enter my mind. Infidelity won't stop Danielle's lucrative mission, as long as she's not on the receiving end. Certainly if I ended in a relationship that I felt was for keeps, it would probably put me off doing it, because I wouldn't feel that it would be fair to do that. And then I'd feel that I was almost cheating the clients as well. If I was a wife or a girlfriend, there's no way I'd want my partner doing it. So I definitely make sure that when I do really like someone, that they, they get a good grilling, <laughs> that they're not into webcam work. <laughs> In Chelmsford, Louise dreams of becoming a forensic scientist. Webcamming funds her studies. But standing out from hundreds of thousands of other webcam girls means finding a niche. Louise is muscle girl. Men like to see that you're looking after yourself and that you're fit and healthy. And that you're not just not eating and stuff like that. It's tough and she pays in sweat three times a week with her gym partner, Ian. Last week, I had this guy. Um, he spent about a grand on me that week. Just, and we was just talking, and I was, on the Saturday that he booked, we was just, I was doing my kitchen. I was cooking, making a cup of tea. Oh, hello, Clive, you all right? How was the gym? Oh, Clive, it was awesome. Let him say that. They're getting quite big, actually, I'm quite impressed. I need to insure myself, you know, because I keep thinking if I fall over and I run and I break my leg, I'm not really sure how many people are going to want to watch me with a cast on. Oh, oh my God. Oh. What weight's that? That's bigger than mine. I'm not having this. Right, that's enough for today. That used to be my favourite exercise years ago. Yeah. 
you want to see me doing my press ups, Clive? Oh, this is quite good being able to see myself do it. If you've just fallen off your chair, Clive. Clive. It's another satisfied fitness fanatic. So, health is big business, even in the webcam world. But Louise isn't the only one muscling in. In Ipswich, 34-year-old South African Lisa lives with her mum. As a feminist dominatrix, she takes a holistic approach to webcamming. Feminism is about choosing for yourself. If you want to wear, um, if you want to wear red lipstick, wear red lipstick. If you want to shave your legs, if you don't want to shave your legs, if you want to shave your underarms, if you don't want to shave your underarms, you should be allowed to do whatever you want. To me, that's what feminism's about. Lisa believes webcamming can empower women, and she likes to use her feet to make men weak at the knees. How about you stick out your tongue and lick them now? Well, I'm gonna make you lick banana from between my toes. <laughs> Thank you for saying so. That's really nice of you. Mmm, <laughs> tasty. I'm making you banana banoffee with my special mixing method. <laughs> Special foot slave banana pie. You've got something unpredictable for me. I've never ever seen someone with a thank you message written on the bottom of their feet. It's definitely new. We're all very strange in our own ways. And I, th I think not, not much of it is strange either if you embrace it. It ceases to become strange. <laughs> but Lisa's world gets a lot stranger. You know, pet eggs, it's a, like um, foot, you can scrub off the de dead skin on your feet and it sa gets saved in the pet egg. I've actually sold it as um, petty parmesan. Bon appetit. <laughs> she loves a wholesome snack and after 14 years of entertaining men, she's enrolled on a healthy living course, paid for with the webcam. Not just nutrition, but helping people to change their lifestyles so that they're healthy in all aspects, not just what they eat. And then you get taught how to launch your own business and run your own business, which is awesome. So I will be a certified health coach in a year's time, and I'll have a new business. Now, perhaps that is the ultimate empowerment. Back in Essex, Alex tries to enjoy the normal things in life, despite pretending to be a giantess for a living. People think that people who do webcam or and things like that are not normal people, but we are just normal people, just earning a living. I mean, it is the 21st century. No one really should be prude in this day and age. Sorry. It's, it's just a, a demand for what people want. But when you perform down a webcam for a living, the weird is never far away. I've been asked by somebody to send some dirty socks to them. So they want some worn socks. So I'm going through a washing basket. I sell my socks for £25 a pair. <laughs> <laughs> and people buy them. Of course, it has to be a pair, yeah, definitely. 100% has to be a pair. They have to match. Sometimes, like, some people will want plain just completely plain. Other times people want knee-high, ankle socks, sports socks, whichever. Quality control can be an issue, so she offers a special deluxe service. Sometimes if I was sending a pair of socks, um, I'd send it in a freezer bag, because then it, like, locks in the smell. Sounds really weird, doesn't it? But, yeah, it'll lock in the, sm the smell, so, like, it's, like, fresh when it gets to them. <laughs> The weird webcam world and the real world can be hard to juggle. On camera, 
Sam terrorises sissy boys from her flat in Luton. When I'm, I'm webcamming, I, I am, you know, very overly, I don't know, confident with um, the guys I deal with. But then they're coming to me for a reason, so I know that they they want something. I know what it is, and I know I can do it, and get paid for it ultimately. So it's um, yeah, there's uh, there's no risk involved there. Off camera, Sam is single, lives alone with her cat, and keeps people distant. One of the few who know her well is her sister, Skye. There is a distinct difference between actual persona and webcam persona. Yeah. You know, it's, you're playing a part, really, aren't you? You know, you, you have to keep that difference. It's like a caricatured version it's of yourself. It's a really yourself, sort of exaggerated it? version of what you are. I'm a massive wimp, really, aren't I? Yeah, I, I, I think really it's, it's, and I get really nervous and well, I can't even look at people. <laughs> If there's somebody I'd like, I couldn't ever tell him that. Ever. I'd die. I would actually rather get struck down by lightning than do that, just in case then I didn't get the rejection. answer that I wanted. Yeah, it'd be terrible. It's very much um, rejection, isn't it, really, Sam? It's almost like a little girl, almost. Not in a horrible way, but, you know, very vulnerable. Single girl looking for love. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. Online dating has never worked out well for me at all. It's very ironic. Obviously, I am online. People start to recognise me. I know, aren't you? Aren't you so and so? Oh, well, yeah, but no, I don't want that to be your main impression of me. So I just deleted all my online dating accounts and forgot about it. I think that doing this, this job has given me kind of a bit more of an insight into <laughs> how men think. <laughs> it's, not, uh, it's not endeared them to me any more than, uh, than previously. It hasn't like, turned me into some serial man-hater or anything like that, because you know, a lot of them are really nice. They just have a particular interest, and that's how they deal with it. I do have a, an unusual job and you know and I have been hurt if I want to get into relationship with somebody it's got to be someone pretty special I think I deserve that and there's no point in rushing it while seasoned webcammer Sam contemplates what she's missing out on Penny is making a film for a regular client who sent her 20 pairs of tights my dad He's very good. I can imagine it's hard for him. I think the only problem is I have got brothers and sisters, um, and I can imagine it's hard for them. My older sister, more than anything, we fell out a little bit. She just didn't want her little sister doing it. I think it was more a protective thing. Um, I think she worried what other people would think about me, maybe, and didn't want me getting slated. It doesn't bother me what people say. If you think about what people say, then you get nowhere in life, I'd say. The client will pay £40 for the film. He likes the whole, the contrast of the colours against each other and the way the night, like I'm tied up with the nylon. He likes that. And so now, let's have my legs up again and he likes the whole feet are stuck together and you can see all the colours. So then the stocking goes over your head. This is what we look. In Norfolk, casted Cutie Carly is taking her first step towards webcamming by making a film as well. We're just going to go out and um, have a little bit of an accident, fall over, break a few bones. We're just going to kind of take it how, how it comes and, and figure out as we go like exactly what we're going to do. Every casted Cutie film needs a cracking accident and some helpless ladies. In the Steven Spielberg directing role, it's James. We've got a lot of lot going on. You've got loose leaves just down on a slope, which quite a big hazard, really. That was a good take. Action's done, but it's the close-ups that really test acting skills. And action. It, it's really, 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 really sore. I, <laughs> so swollen. 
The film will be released as part of a £12 a month subscription package. So Carly's hoping to cash in. Oh, I love you. I support Carly. I mean, she seems really happy doing what she's doing. She's making good money out of it and making other people happy. <laughs> <laughs> Three years of webcamming has given giantess Alex a window into the bedrooms of British men. British people are actually quite kinky, but they've got this stiff upper lip, so they like to pretend that they're not, and they're like, oh my god, sex, who has sex? But really, they're like completely into all this craziness <laughs> behind closed doors. Paul mags have been passed around at like schools for years. It's just that now we're moving into a technology technology age and it's like now they look at them on smartphones it's just a different era but men generally have always looked at women like it's just the way it is i don't think it's a bad thing i think you should in embrace the pervertness of them <laughs> but her son is about to start school where a parent could recognize her anytime so she's unplugged the webcam and enrolled on a beauty therapy course instead so Alex will never be an online MILF, or mother I'd like to feel, but her dirty socks might still be available. Do you sell any balloons? Yes, it's in the... Empire building webcammer Penny has discovered a surprising lucrative market, Lunas. Grown-ups who get really excited by balloons. And there's 25, but I can imagine they disappear quite quickly. Um, so we might want a couple of packets. And it says assorted, so there must be all different sizes, so I'm sure that will cater for everyone. <laughs> but Penny's dad and sister object to her career, and her friend Amy isn't convinced either. What are you going to tweet? Um, I'm just going to put... Balloons o'clock. Getting ready for naughty balloon fan. In just one minute, Penny attracts her first paying private client. What am I doing with these balloons? Anything you want me to. <laughs> I can pop them. Ooh, private time with the balloonies. Whoop, whoop. Me to bounce it on my head. Do you want me to tie it up first? And what is it you like about this, gorgeous? Is this how you like it? You want to see me laying in the balloons? Are they all going to pop on me? Are they? Look at my booty! <laughs> they're going to pop. Oh, they can take my weight. I'm making you nice and hard, am I? <laughs> Do you want me to rub all over me? <laughs> Do you want me to sit on it and pop it? <laughs> Let me just move my webcam down. Oh my god, this is this gonna hurt? <laughs> what if I can't squash it? <laughs> ah! I hope you enjoyed it. I've loved your naughty little mask. Bye. What did he spend there? He spent like 16, 17 quid. 17 pounds to watch you pop a balloon in yeah. between your midges. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel really silly. Yeah, if you know what I mean. Because that was just so random. Yeah, I know, but <laughs> like this. It's funny, you just look a laugh about it, haven't you? But no, I'm good on you, do you know what? If it, <laughs> makes, if it pays the bill, love, pays the bills. Whatever she wants to do, I'll respect her and support her. As long as she's always one step of the game, then you go, sister. <laughs> oh, that's a big one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. With Amy won over and her mum already supportive, Penny's plans for <laughs> webcam world domination will continue. <laughs> Carly casted Cutie's film has bombed at the box office and she split up from her boyfriend. But it's not all bad. On holiday in Tunisia, she did meet a hunky lifeguard.
I saw Mohammed um, when we were by the pool. Then I saw somebody walk past and I was like, hmm, yeah, <laughs> he's really nice. Um, it probably took another like two days before we actually said anything to each other. At first it was a bit difficult. I didn't know how much he understood and how much he didn't understand. And he asked me what I did and I kind of was like, kind of mimed a plaster cast and he was like, like, huh? <laughs> I just I didn't think he quite understood. Especially, I think he maybe thought that I was talking about something completely different, not work. Um, but then when he realised that's what I do, he was like, I just don't understand why. Like, why people pay for that? But, um, and I was like, do you know what? Sometimes I don't. After a week in the waves with her lifesaver, Mohammed, Carly is considering if her custard cutie spiritualist can live with a Muslim. Islam is completely different in that um, with spiritualism, it's more... Um, more open. I can still believe in, in my spirits and all that kind of thing. I think um, you can be spiritual no matter kind of what religion you follow. Obviously it's possible that one day if we get married and I do decide to live my life as a Muslim, um, I'm going to have to make a lot of important changes. I loved, um, I loved what I did and I loved shooting for cast of cuties and um, all of that kind of work I really enjoyed and not to mention that being a single mum, it was really good money for me. Um, it paid the bills and it meant that me and Alana could have everything that we needed. Um, and I would never, I'd never change that. I really loved it. I've decided that I'm, I won't start webcamming anymore. Um, with Mohammed and, and my life taking a huge turn, um, I've been in learning and embracing Islam and, and that's really where I wanted to go with my life and being with him and um, in a relationship with him. And it doesn't, it just doesn't fit together. Webcamming and, and that life are, are so, so far apart that um, there really is no way to bridge that gap. I kind of had to choose one or the other. Um, uh, and I choose him because he makes me happy. Three months ago, Sam was making good money scaring scissors, but living as a single girl with her cat. Now she's making sparks with an electrician from Luton called Ashley. Met in the pub and... I don't know, just sort of got talking and then one day um, took me out and yeah, and that was it. We just kind of started seeing more and more of each other and then he just wasn't leaving. <laughs> he just <laughs> stayed all the time and um, yeah, now, now uh, he's, he lives with me. I didn't obviously mention my job straight away um, because, you know, I'm not naive enough to think that everyone's going to be like, oh, yeah, that's really cool, I don't mind. Um, I kind of sort of worked up to it gently. He didn't, like, hit the roof or, oh, my God, that's just incredible. There was none of that. I think it was just a case of, oh, OK, that's cool. He's quite laid back anyway. It's domestic bliss, but the sissy boys keep calling. Oh, bloody hell. You want to see me wearing lipstick? All right, wait there, wait be a sec. How's that, Walter? Mm, it's expensive lipstick, that. However, it is a bloody lovely colour. <laughs> More? Mm, rub it all together. Any glitter? No, I bloody don't. I'm not 14. Any pink? I've just put red on, for God's sake. Another weirdo. They're all weird, aren't they? <laughs> I can hear you laughing in the background. Because they make me laugh. Mm. Sometimes... I used all my pink lipstick. <laughs> I know. Oh, dear. Just, just Sam at work half the time, it just gives me an opportunity to, to do what I want to do. To change the TV channel. <laughs> I'm jealous of the fact that she gets paid so much, um, like, per call and doesn't have to get up early. I'd love to not have to get up early and wake up when I want it to and be able to switch work off for an hour or something because I want it to do something. The only future I suppose I've got planned is to just to, to stay with Sam. Aww. As long as that happens, this it's, it's all going to plan. <laughs> well, fail the stupidest thing I've ever seen you do. Stop laughing at me. Half a billion quid is lost in Britain's war on shoplifters every year in the UK. Stay put to see more from Law and Disorder Week on Channel 5 in brand new Shops and Robbers next.